The kids are hungry. You see that firsthand. So you should be the one to grow up to make a difference, you know, to make sure it doesn't continue. 736 Lucy, flying advice says about seven substitutes in front of his house. Attempted to jump on him and his brother's perfect transsexual. 159, I'm in service, I'll make that. I just got a fight call where a young lady has called in and said that two people are trying to fight her transsexual yeah, brothers. Everyone knows what it's like to be picked on, and it's not a good feeling. If you are a good person, you should always be treated with respect. Same by nine. The rest of them in this house right here, this green house. Hey, little buddy, come here. As I walked across the street, it was a bunch of rowdy guys. Had their shirts off, tatted all up. And one of the boys, he was even on house arrest. What did he say to y'all? All of them. All of them. One at a time. One at a time. He said this and that and that and this to him or whatnot. And I'm like, man, it's a red man, cook. You know what you mean, cook. You're a man for any time, right? But that ain't your place to tell nobody about what they gender is. All right, look, whatever going on, leave them alone, leave him alone, or whatever. Whatever somebody choose to dress like, look like that's their business. What if somebody starts saying something about your hair? I don't like your hair, right? Go ahead, baby. Might the whole time. We were hanging out. We ain't saying that we mad at her. I don't think we just chilling. Right. You know, oh, she not fit the mouth, so I'm looking. Don't make sure I want to talk to me. Okay, let's just have a general understanding. Then let's just have a general Listen up, your mouth. You're 16. Your mouth, I'm grown. Leave them alone. If you say something to you, what you supposed to do? Ignore it. Ignore it, right? That's right. Okay, don't be disrespecting nobody, period. Y'all go on in the house. Don't she? I'm going to tell her the same thing, okay? I'm going to tell her the same thing. But when it all boiled down, I can almost imagine you all probably checking and saying some I ain't just fell off the bus. Take your kids on in the house, and we go. All right, no more. We ain't coming back over here for that mess. I could believe that these girls were being harassed just by these guys' attitudes and their behavior. Y'all still talking. Very immature, jumping up and down, running up and down the street. All right, I told them to leave you alone. And... I just think they disrespect because yeah. I don't think they got no right to um, disrespect nobody because of their um, they sexuality or anything. I think we deserve the same respect they deserve. Exactly. If, I, if I can walk through here and not say nothing to y'all at all, y'all ain't got to say nothing, nothing to me at all. Exactly. I can already imagine the things they say and the things they don't, but it don't make it right. So if you have any problems, I'll be glad to come over here. Anytime you have any problems, you call the police, and we'll take care of that for you. Because you deserve to be comfortable, be happy, and sit on your porch and rock your future hair, right? <laughs> I walk over and speak with the girls, and these ladies, they have class. They're not going to get out there and mess up their new hairstyles. <laughs> not today. I like the way they talk to them. Yeah. This time. Yeah, it don't. I have no problem today. It's just time. So I want to get, yeah. Get laughed. It is disrespectful. And you know what? You deserve to be respected no matter what. Let me just say this. It's bold you stand up for yourself, you know? I told to myself, of course, y'all know I'm a man. Y'all know I probably got something bigger than y'all between my legs. <laughs> I love that hat. I can't wear that color to work, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just make sure these guys leave these girls alone. Um, they're sitting there and they're gonna talk them. You know, I have a good time. I try to be lighthearted and let them know, you know, take that in the house. But it don't seem like they wanna do that. These kids, everything I said, one ear out the other. Go in the house. Cause you're not gonna sit across the street from them. You're gonna be on your property. You know, these girls, they're just sitting on their porch, minding their business, but they got to be taunted, calling them ugly names or whatnot. It's not their business. You know, it's not their business what someone else decides to dress like or who someone else decides to be. Pathetic.